Hey there, here's a few solutions to some frustrations I found with debugging in Eclipse when using Java code. Now, you can see, I mean, let's say this just lab four class, part of my course. And if you press the debug button, it might launch this and it jumps back to another class, which is not what you want. And if you're really unlucky, and if I close that again, let's say it didn't work, and you just do debug as Java application, it'll just keep doing it, whatever you do. So if you've used the debugger before, that'll probably be the source of this. So what you want to do is come over here and just Control and A to select all, and remove all terminated launches. And um, so what you want to do is come over to the debug perspective, and if it doesn't appear, you can just search for it and type debug, because that's another thing it doesn't always show. So you've got that tab between the package explorer, maybe the project explorer and this. And then you right click, simply click terminate, disconnect all, and that will essentially wipe them from your debugging memory. So if I go back to my lab four class now and debug, Remember, this is actually the better way to do it is click on the down arrow and then debug as Java application. You should see now, you see I've got the class name here so I can debug through it. Now, what you also want, and this is a little frustrating, is you want to be able to see the variables and all the things that are changing. So if I go in to the search, you can see it's there on mine already. Variables, debug, and here is where you get the real value from the debugger as well. And you can see exactly what's happening. So if I did press step into, you'll see the input and this is where it becomes really handy. Okay, maybe this one's a bit more than you need, but the value, you can see exactly what's going on at any stage. And if it goes red, then it means something's been updated. There's also another point to note here that if you are debugging, and let's say, you know, you can add your breakpoints by just double clicking on the side here. I can toggle them on and off. So that will stop, right? The breakpoint will stop there. So if I go back and debug again, if it's not stopping, what you need to do then again is search up here. If you type skip, it'll show you from the menu, skip all breakpoints. Now that is actually toggled on or off. And you can see that by these strike through lines. So if I did it again, skip and that's off so if you've got those lines through your breakpoints it means you're not going to stop on any of these breakpoints it'll just run through them personally i don't know when you would use that without them on like why you would skip everything in a debug but there you go that's another thing to look out for if you're doing it in detail having the variables window seeing the debug perspective and knowing to disconnect and relaunch will save you loads of time and confusion. Hope you found that useful. I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks.